uh, who could have saved this little girl who died because of abuse by her family were reluctant to talk about some of, or, or to deal with some of the issues because they thought they would be regarded as insensitive towards black families. Trevor Phillips. Well, uh, Adam Ellis Cooper from the University College London's philosophy department joins me now. Thanks for coming in. Do you think that Trevor Phillips is right when he says there are things you cannot say about race? Um, I think the example that he uses here is um, quite a remarkable one, given the fact that um, child abuse scandals, which go right to the heart of the British government, um, including the Conservative Party, that go right to the heart of the British broadcasting establishment, um, go right to the heart of um, uh, other um, high establishment religious organisations, um, has seen um, child abuse being ignored in a range of different um, sectors and institutions and communities. So I think nitpicking and kind of identifying child abuse in one specific community actually helps to reproduce racism and reproduce stereotypes rather than identifying as that, that child abuse is an issue which is ignored um, in institutions across the board. Do you think if there is a sense that certain things can't be said because of sensitivities over race, it's, it's harmful for it? For a helpful debate in this country? I think it's important that we have an open and helpful debate. Um, some of the examples that Trevor Phillips uses are things like what he calls black on black violence. So he identifies that the majority of black people who are murdered are murdered by other black people. What he doesn't identify is that the majority of white people are murdered who are murdered are also murdered by other white people. And so identifying and isolating small bits of the truth um, away from the wider context of that truth, I think that helps to really kind of distorts the reality somewhat. So what do you think of his intervention? Um, I think his intervention creates a false um, reality, basically. Um, he kind of picks and chooses little facts here and there. So, for instance, um, he, picked, he decided to look at um, uh, the wealth of Jewish families rather than the fact that um, the overall majority of wealth accumulation comes from um, financial institutions, which aren't run by Jewish people. But the fact that... The fact that um, financial institutions which engage in far greater wealth accumulation aren't run by Jewish people, doesn't really fit into our stereotypes. So therefore we kind of pick little bits of truth rather than the whole truth. And that helps to really reproduce stereotypes rather than giving us a broader, clearer picture about how society is structured. So what, what are you saying then? Do you think he's seeing sensitivity where there isn't any? It's just that um, he's now picking out examples um, that you feel are, are not necessarily helpful? I think, yeah, I think what Trevor Phillips clearly has done is identify specific bits of the truth which are greatly decontextualised. So one of the other examples he uses is that black people are more likely to be convicted of a violent offence than a white person. But what we see when we examine the evidence is actually when put in front of a jury, when put in front of a judge and when put in front of police, if you're black, you're more likely to be arrested, more likely to be charged, and more likely to be convicted. And that sentencing is likely to be longer. So what the evidence suggests isn't that um, black people necessarily um, are uh, committing more crime, but importantly, that there seems to be disproportionality within the criminal justice system. The, what the evidence suggests is a term which Trevor Phillips has fought tooth and nail to discredit, and that term is institutional racism. Does this... Um open up a debate which you think is helpful or I'm sort of almost getting the sense that you kind of think it's not helpful and it's sort of not it's I, almost better not to, to I, look at it in the, the way that he's yeah, doing it. I, I think that the chair of Phillips is actually narrowing the debate I don't think he's broadening at all he's reproducing stereotypes which identify either complete falsehoods or nitpicking mm -hmm. little bits of truth in order to reproduce um, stereotypes which I don't think is useful at all. Thank you very much for coming in and talking to us. Adam Ellis Cooper from University College London's Philosophy Department. Thank you.